Vocal cord exam, the best movie grunts. Many actors are known for their lines, but some are recognizable without words. They grunt, growl, and yelp their way into our collective memory. Welcome to Dr. Video's vocal cord exam of the best movie grunts. Number one. Bruce Lee. When you hear that, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you know it's Bruce Lee and it's about to get serious. He voices a wide range of sound effects in his fighting scenes, yelps, screams, gasps that follow each other in a whirlwind of movement. And you can literally hear his influence everywhere from movies and especially the games. In the majority of beat em up games, there is a Bruce Lee inspired character accompanied with the matching shouts. For example, in Street Fighter, we have Fei Long. In Mortal Kombat, we have Liu Kang. <laughs> and in Tekken, there is martial law. This is just Bruce Lee. His influence became all the more obvious after he passed away, and an immense series of Bruce exploitation movies followed, in which his screams echoed long after his death by the many, many impersonators. Number two, Jackie Chan. While Bruce Lee is all about showing off his power, speed and fighting skills, Jackie Chan often wants to avoid the fight. Uh, playing it on the defensive side, he's stumbling apologetically. No, no, you don't understand. His cries and grunts show a more vulnerable side, indicating the pain that's been inflicted on him during a fight. He's a nice person and we can only cringe in agony as he wears oh, when his fingers get stuck between the ladder. In this famous scene from First Strike, he excels in what he's known for, fighting with props. But have you ever noticed he matches his grunts with his props? Spinning a table around towards his enemy, he growls like a spinning propeller. We hear not only his power, but also his surprise, his despair and pain. Number three, Arnold Schwarzenegger. If there is any actor that's been copied and impersonated a bajillion times, it must be Arnold Schwarzenegger. The internet is full of soundboards of his shouts and grunts, and it's a common go-to for stand-up comedians. Imitation, well, it's the best compliment as they uh, say. And although, I'll be back and hasta la vista baby, may be famous lines, when you mention Arnold, people start grunting. Well, stand-up comedians, uh, this one, Godfrey is called. He even wonders whether the script for Predator was just pages and pages of growls. Because Predator is one of my favorite movies. I love Every guy loves Predator. But did he ever have to rehearse for any of his films? <laughs> what, what was his script like? Ah, look, ah, ah, comma, ah. Even at home, I get on my Arnold when I need some ear <laughs> or I have to get out. <laughs> His grunts are iconic and we keep laughing at them. But why? Well, I think his growls are famous because they are so thick and overdone. Shut up! Number four, Sylvester Stallone. When Stallone screams in Rambo, he gives everything. The scream is so built up, it's so full of anger, so primal, it lets you know he's letting it all out. It's been copied endlessly. And 
while Stallone doesn't exactly grunt much, he does sound like it most of the time because of his speech impediment. I've only been able to understand his lines because I am from the Netherlands and we had subtitles. And the times when people uh, hear him loud and clear, well, they will extort it, like in Rocky with Adrian. Alright, so what are you thinking about when I buzz yourself with that line? What are you thinking about when the 15th round you're coming out? Adrian! Stallone seems to compensate for his impediment with volume and loudness. Number 5. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford? Uh, well, what is he doing on the list, you might think? Well, it's because his screams and focal size channel his experiences and emotions so strongly to the viewer. Um, when I was a, a kid, uh, I was watching Star Wars and I, I heard his wails of agony when they're freezing him in carbonite. It really got to me. He must be in real pain. <laughs> He often expresses his feelings with sorts of noises, like when he stops a train cart with his foot in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Water! 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 Come on! Well, we, you can hear his surprise and realizations not from what he's saying, but from the sounds he's making. Some may find it overacting, but to me, it makes his experiences more believable and easy to identify or cringe along to. Well, after all this, you may wonder why people even grunt so much. In these five cases, obviously it made for more fascinating theatrics. And sometimes the growls <laughs> got even more famous than the stories themselves. But grunting is not just about embellishing a staged fight. A study at Hardin Simmons University in Abilene, Texas, USA found out that weightlifters produce up to 5% more force when they grunt. <laughs> so there you have it. As a doctor, I advise you to all grunt happily ever after. Thanks for watching Dr. Video's Vocal Cord Exam. Please subscribe and leave your favorite grunts in the comments.